Yo, this is crazy. I have another massive Timu haul. I'm Jamie the Crafty DIY Guy. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I'd like to thank Timu for sponsoring today's video. What's up everybody? I am so excited about today's video. Today is another Timu haul and uh, yeah, beyond excited actually. I would say that I'm beyond excited. So for those of you that are wondering like what is Timu? Timu is an online marketplace that offers everything that you could possibly need for yourself or for your home, for gifts. They've literally got it covered and all of them are extremely low prices, which is even more fantastic. Now they have something for everyone and every part of the home. Like I know I've said that a couple times, but it is crazy how much stuff you have on the Timo website. Now, if you are looking for maybe home decor, maybe you're looking for DIY, maybe you're looking for kitchen stuff, maybe you're looking for kitchen appliances, maybe you want outdoor, maybe you want fashion, and that includes big and tall men's fashion and also ladies plus size fashions, there are jewelry items, there are watches, there are things that are just silly and just fun and just because, and today, once again, I have an entire assortment for you from all kinds of different categories on the Timu website. <laughs> Now it's because of you guys that my last Timu video really blew up. It got over 150,000 views. Thank you guys so, so much for watching it. This haul is going to be just as exciting and just as fun. And because of you guys, Timu has actually asked me back to do additional videos for them. So I'm going to have at least three more videos coming that are um, super, super exciting. So thank you to you guys. And of course, thank you to Timu for sponsoring today's video. <laughs> Now with Timu, you are going to get free shipping. You're also going to get free returns within 90 days. Also, they make it really, really easy if you do have an issue. I know personally for some of the personal items that I did order, I ordered an item that came in broken. All I had to do was take a picture of it, upload it to their website, and they refunded me almost instantly. So that is something that's very, very cool about Timu. Now, I am also going to have a code that is going to be up here on the screen for you. If you are a brand new user to Timu, you can save 30% with my code. Now, remember that you're also going to get free shipping and then you are also going to get a uh, free return. So why wouldn't you give Timu a try? And of course, if you're not brand new to Timu, you know that code doesn't work for you. However, you know that Timu has incredible prices all the time. So you are going to get incredible values when you are shopping at Timu. Now, all of the items that I'm gonna be sharing with you today are going to appear on screen. I'm gonna put them up right in this kind of general area here. Now, at the time of doing this video, everything is in stock. However, keep a few things in mind. Prices are always subject to change. So what I show you on screen might be slightly different than what I paid for it or what you actually see when you click the link that is going to be in the description box for everything. But Timo has so many great sales. And then if you're brand new to Timo, you can get that 30% off as well, which is kind of a big deal and kind of awesome. Now, also Timo has an incredible feature. If by chance, something that I share with you today is sold out, they have two features that can help you get that item. The first feature is the find similar button. So if you happen to click on something, Thing, it tells you it's sold out. They're going to give you a couple options. One is the find similar option. So you click the similar, the find similar button, and it's going to recommend some additional items that could be a great substitute. Or if you really want to wait that out and you really want that item to come back in stock, hit the notify me button. And what it's going to do is it's going to log it into your Timu account. And then when that item is restocked, you are going to get an email notification that that item is ready to go for you. So like they make it really, really, really easy to shop. And uh, I'm so excited. I am so excited. Let's get into this video. <laughs> All right, you guys, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is this amazing cuckoo clock. I love this cuckoo clock. It is a modern take, obviously, on the traditional cuckoo clock, but what I love about this, too, is that you can remove the pendulum here, and uh, it comes with a little false bottom that you can put on the bottom of it to protect kind of the innards of the uh, mechanism for the time and everything, but 
you can use this on the wall or you can put this on a bookshelf, which I think is super, super cool. Now, you can also adjust the volume of the cuckoo on the back. There's also a little hook here or a hole where you can hang this. And then also if your cuckoo goes a little cuckoo, you can reset it and kind of start all over again. So let's test out the cuckoo so you can see how cute. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. He's a little confused about the time right now. Um, he thinks it's uh, much later than one o'clock, but all you're gonna have to do is hit the adjust button on the back. He clearly thinks it's three o'clock. And uh, make the adjustment and then just follow the instructions. It does take three C size batteries, but super, super cute. And uh, very excited to have this in the background here in my craft room. And can you imagine if I'm doing a feature haul or something and you hear the cuckoo saying hello to you guys. It's almost like of Mr. Otis, but not quite as cute. <laughs> So the next item I'm gonna talk about, it's not quite as sexy or fun as the cuckoo clock. However, it is something in the DIY world that we need so much. No, these are not sponges. These are actually wood sanding blocks. Now you can get a package of four and I'm going to put them on screen here. Also, what's super, super cool about these is that each side of the sanding block is a different type of sandpaper. So if you need something a little more aggressive or you need something a little more lightweight, if you want something that's even got the kind of lighter tone to it you can use that as well and uh, there's a package of four in here they were super economical 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 and uh, they're great because as you know we're working with tons of woodworking stuff and this is a great way to kind of rough off some of those or slough off some of those rough edges when we are working on some DIY projects now the next item that I have for you I have a list here that way I can stay in order and by the way everything that I'm gonna share with you today is in order of how you can find it on the description, the item descriptions below. These are acrylic paint markers. Now, these I have seen other people haul. From what I understand, these sell out really, really quickly, but they do come back into stock really, really quickly as well. Now, if you are kind of like me, and uh, I'm gonna open these so I can share these with you, but I'll, I'll share a little story while I'm doing that. Um, I'm not the greatest painter by any means, and uh, I've got pretty good handwriting though. And uh, with paint markers, it really allows you to not only get into kind of the individual little areas that you wanna get to, but it does allow you to kind of be a little bit more creative when it does come to your DIYs. Look at these paint pens, y'all. These are acrylic paint markers and they are so great. It looks like a box of just Crayola crayons here. Let me put this yellow one back in here and I'll show you what everything looks like on the inside. But again, super, super affordable. We're gonna put it up here on the screen for you. Such a great, there's 12 of them in here. They are water-based, they're acrylic markers. They mark on anything. There's um, heavy overcasting, whatever that means, and uh, multiple colors that won't fade, and it's specialized fiber for fluent writing, which is great because if you are writing something like home and maybe you've got a great script or maybe you're using like a carbon paper and you've you know, traced out something and then you wanna go back in with a paint marker and kind of finish that off. This is a great way to do that. I really think that these are going to be a game changer for me and I'm going to put them right over here with the rest of my paint stuff. I will put those away shortly, but I have got another item for you and the next item is a sunglass organizer. Now, you guys know that uh, I recently upgraded my glasses and uh, I also have a lot of sunglasses and this was something that a friend of mine shared in her Timu haul. It's loud, I know. And uh, what's so great about this is I think this holds like 15 different pairs of glasses. Look at that. You've got these great pockets. Think of all the different organizers though that you could do. If you didn't have this many sunglasses or this many pair of glasses, you don't have to use this. Let's get the little pocket started. You can put, all right, come on. It's brand new. It just got here and shipped it. There we go. You can put glasses in here. You can do all kinds of stuff. You could do sunglasses, but I also think this could be really good for jewelry. And it's got this hook on the back of it. Let me put these back on so I can see you guys. It's got this hook on it, so it's easy to hang in the closet. It's not going to take up much room at all. It helps you stay really, really organized. Oh, and by the way, it is two-sided. So, I mean, 
if you have a lot of sunglasses or maybe your family has a lot of sunglasses, maybe in like that area of your home where, um, you know, everybody drops their bags and their shoes and everything. If your family wears gl glasses or sunglasses, this could be an awesome way to kind of help organize them. And once again, it's here on the screen for you to check it out. I was pretty excited about this one because uh, I do have a lot of glasses and uh, I want to, um, to be able to organize them. Right now, they're kind of all over the dresser in different places, and that is going to help me stay organized and keep them all in one place. Now, the next item I have, if you are a jewelry designer, or maybe you're wanting to get into doing jewelry design, this is a great little starter jewelry pack. Now, let's see if we can get it focused in here on this brand new fancy camera that I have. I think it's trying to find me. Maybe that will help. Uh, but these are are all of the kind of lobster claws that you need as well as the hooks that the you know lobster claw would kind of attach to like this necklace that I'm wearing um, there's a lobster claw kind of hook on the back this is from Timu too by the way I think I told you guys that but uh, this comes in uh, what four different colors five different colors there's a bronze there's a silver there is a kind of like an antique gold there's a silvery looking one that's a little more like a brushed silver. Um, there's almost one that's black and then there's one that's gold and those are all the lobster claw kind of sides. And then these are all the O-rings that go with it. So if you're wanting to kind of make your own necklaces or your own jewelry or anything like that, you can do that really, really easily with this great little kit. And then the other thing that I do have because I wanted to try and make something with these, these are little turquoise cross beads. Now look how cute and beautiful those are. Let's see if we can get the camera to zoom in on those. There we go. And uh, these are super, super fun because you can create all kinds of things. Now they are on a clear string already, so you could certainly just use them as is. Add one of these lobster claws and the O-rings to it and you've got a great little bracelet or a necklace. But you can also add these, of course, to anything. I think these were like $2, like less than $2. And again, I've got it up here on screen. I'm not sharing the prices because the prices change so much. And um, there's always such a great deal with Timu that how can you go wrong with it, honestly? All right, I'm sticking... <clears throat> Sticking to my list here. This is something I got for my sister. The packaging that this came in was amazing. It was in a box. It was in styrofoam. It was well taken care of. It did not arrive broken. And um, look how beautiful that is. It's like a little mermaid kind of a looking, they call it an ocean goddess bowl. Now my sister has a bathroom. It's one of her guest bathrooms in the house that uh, kind of has a sea mermaid-ish kind of a vibe to it. And uh, I thought that this could be fantastic for soaps and things. So I wanted to get her that. How cute and beautiful is she? I just love it. It looks like she's like just tanky. You know, she's got her fin up. She's taking a bath with herself. But uh, I wish I could do that, actually. I wish I had a bathtub that I could get into that was that big. But uh, super, super cute. I know my sister's going to love this. I'm uh, probably going to try and save it. I gotta put it over here so I don't break it. Uh, save it for a Christmas present for her. But um, I'm probably going to see my mom within the next month or so. And I may just give it to my mom to take back to my sister. All right, the next... Next thing, you guys, if you've been working with silicone, you know, uh, there's a lot of retailers, a lot of craft stores out there that sell the, the really easy DIY silicone mold kits. I want to make like a little accent table and I want it to be silicone. This is a 20 inch silicone mold. Look at that. It is the perfect size for a table. I'm going to... here. Look at this. There's even some paper left, plastic left over on it. Look at this mold. I don't even know how much silicone I'm going to need to be able to do something like this. But how cool for you to create your own, like this could be an amazing coffee table tray, a great outdoor tray for outdoor entertaining. You can have your silicone mold, 
put some handles in it. I'm so excited about this. And this was so inexpensive when you compare like what a silicone mold would cost you. I'm gonna pop it over there on top of all that plastic that I just peeled off. And uh, we're gonna talk about the next item, which is this. It's not a pen. This looks like a pen. I'm probably going to confuse it for a pen many times, but this is a precision crafting tool that looks like a pen, but it actually has little tiny blades in it. This will not come out of the packaging. <laughs> I'm trying to do it with this come out of here already. Okay. You know how a, uh, like a mechanical pencil has the leads that kind of get feed th fed through. This is a knife tool, just like that. So let's try and get this. Let's see if you can see the little blade. Look at the blade. Do you see that little blade that's in there? It's focusing on my face. Don't focus on my face. Look at that tiny little blade and you just retract it. So when you're done with it, you retract it back in there and look, it's not even cutting me or anything because the blade is back up inside there. So if you need a little tiny X-Acto knife or you need something that you are going to, you know, just cut really fine kind of things with, why wouldn't you have this in your craft supply? I think this was 68 cents, by the way. Now it's gonna be up here on screen. I'm gonna try and remember some of the prices as I do talk to you about some of these things. But again, those prices are subject to change and uh, they always go up, they always go down. Plus, Timu has great deals. And remember, if you're brand new with Timu, then you are going to get 30% off with my code that I shared at the beginning of the video and then also down in the description box. So how could you go wrong with like giving some of these things a try. This item. This item is actually stacked right next to me. This came in a separate box by itself. It was packaged beautifully. There were no issues with it. If you have a family and you are trying to do some healthy dinners for them, look at this steamer. This is a three tiered food steamer. So you could put like your fish maybe in here, maybe some vegetables in here, chicken up in here, maybe if Bobby doesn't like the fish or the salmon. And what I love about this is that it all separates. So you add your water into this part. It's a digital readout here on the screen and it gives you different suggestions and recommendations for whether you're cooking an egg, you can cook eggs in here, uh, fish, corn, uh, purple potatoes, chicken, shellfish, ribs. There's a disinfectant option for you too to help you clean this afterwards. It's got that digital screen. It just plugs in like a regular you know, kitchen appliance does. And it's got all of these different levels to it. So let me show you kind of how this works. Now, let's say I am cooking something for myself. For a party of one, this is fantastic because this is your lid. You're just gonna put this on top and then I can steam whatever I want to in here. But let's say maybe I wanna me maybe do some meal planning or something. I've got some corn in the cob in here and then maybe I wanna do like some chicken breast or something. And maybe you put the chicken breast here, that way your juices stay and then you've got your corn on the cob here or you reverse that, that way your chicken juices drip down on your corn on the cob. And then again, you can do that. Or if I'm meal prepping and I need to create also a level for some fish, fish, chicken, vegetables. So you can do all of that in here and then you've got the lid to kind of keep it all in place. How incredible is this? I was so excited to see this on the Timu site and um, I would say run and run and run and get this. This is so much fun. I had one of these kind of similar steamers. It was by another brand and uh, it, I used it all the time. I used it all the time. I'm trying to figure out where to put it. I'll just put it right there. I used it all the time. And it was something that really helped me with healthy cooking and meal prep. It was easy. I didn't have to heat up the stove or the oven. 
whenever I was doing any kind of like bulk chicken breasts or anything, you could even just do all chicken breasts in here if you wanted to and cook up a bunch for the week and then just have some healthy options throughout the week. I am so excited about that food steamer. All right, so the next item that I've got for you from Timu is another organizer and this is a jewelry organizer. Now, very similar concept to the sunglass organizers. If you think about space and you think about like how much space maybe like a large freestanding jewelry box takes, this is another thing that I think is really, really cool. Now, you've got a couple options with this one. You've got the hook here on the top. You could certainly fold this and put this away if you wanted to, but it's got all of these smaller pockets, which are kind of perfect for like earrings or necklaces, maybe even bracelets. Some of the ones down here are a little bit, looks, well, they're about the same size. So they're all kind of the same size on this side. However, when you go to this side, not only do you have larger pockets that are definitely wider, you could put maybe even like, you could put sunglasses in here for sure. But also I think that you could put maybe, um, you know, any of your undergarments or anything like that. This is certainly very versatile for this. Also, what I really like about this is these little Velcro straps. They create little hooks for you that you can put necklaces on. So you would just put your necklace in there. All you have to do is Velcro that up and then your necklace is going to hang down. How cool is that? And because you've got, again, this hook that goes over your closet rod, you've got a very, very easy way to hang this. Also, what you could do is you could use like a command hook or something like that, put this on the back of your bedroom door, on the back of your closet door, and just hang this up. Can you imagine, actually, if you took this one with a command hook and then also did the th same thing with the sunglasses? Get a command hook that's a, you know, a good kind of heavy-duty hook, put them on your back of your closet door, and then you got everything that you need right there at your fingertips. This is also great because it is on this hook. You can take this off, you can look, see what jewels you need to put on, and then hang it right back up. And unlike myself, you won't have to worry about stacking it on the dresser. And uh, I think that that could even be great for travel, you know, play around with it for sure. The pockets don't have any kind of a zipper or closure, but if you, maybe you've got some checked bags or something and you want to just be able to take a lot of your jewelry, why not take that that way? Or you could go into like a travel jewelry box or something like that. We do have one of those coming up, but I'm wanting to stay in the list that is in the description box there. So we're gonna go to this. Now you may be thinking, what the heck is this? Check this out on screen. This is a glass bottle cutter set. So if you have a favorite bottle of champagne, favorite bottle of wine and you want to cut kind of the top of that bottle off. Maybe you want to create a really cool candle. I've seen some amazing candles made with like champagne bottles and wine bottles and stuff. You can do this. Now this little kit is an acrylic stand. Uh, there is some assembly required with it, but it will allow you to cut any of your bottles, beer bottles, wine bottles, anything like that that is glass. You can cut and you can make candles and all kinds of really fun stuff. I think it'd be super, super cool to get some beer bottles and you know, you have to drink it first. And then after you've done that, take those beer bottles and create some candles, like some citronella candles for outside. How cute could that be on your deck or your patio, especially with the fall or the, the fall, I wish fall, um, with the summer months and the hot summer months and all the bugs that come along with this. All right, the next thing, this is the travel box that I was telling you about. Now, I like watches. Ironically enough, I'm not wearing one right now. I have a ton of watches. Um, they're like an accessory to me. Whenever I go, whenever I travel, I like to take different watches with me. This is a traveling watch case. Now, you can see that each kind of space is kind of elongated and there's a little strap here and then a little pocket that your watch just slides into. I can take one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight watches and there's a pouch pocket right here for bracelets, rings, jewelry, whatever, and then it just zips all the way around. But you know what else I think that this could be really cool for? Now this is listed as a jewelry, you know, watch box. What if you're traveling with a family and you've got, you know, 
headphones for all the kids or you've got charging ports or different things like there's so many different charging ports and headphones and different cords and things what a great way to organize them now i do know that timu does have products like that but think outside the box like when you buy something like this you can certainly use it for more than just what the description says and with this for me I'm using it for watches because, again, I have a lot of watches. We're going to put that right there. That's on top of the steamer. Well, it was on top of the steamer, and now it's slid off. But that's okay. It didn't break. Um, all right, we're going to get into some stuff that is probably more for the DIY side of things. Now, um, this is a drill bit set, but it's, um, I know it's very exciting. But what's cool about this is that this is one of those drill bit sets that allow you to put holes into to wood. So if you've got something that you're working on and you need to put a hole in it because maybe you're making a sign and you want to be able to hang the sign, but maybe it's a thicker piece of nautical rope or something like that, you can easily do that with these. I don't know why I was holding it like this. Let's just open it up. And uh, there are so many different sized kind of drill bits in there that you can make holes with. Now this has literally everything and all you have to do is just kind of attach this to the end of your drill and uh there's even i think a two inch hole i'm gonna call it a hole maker i'm sure it's got a fancy name to it but here. look at this one this is huge you can make like you could actually in your craft room you could take this and put a hole in the top of your work surface that way you could feed the cords for your glue guns down that way you don't have crazy cords everywhere so many cool options i think that this is something great to have as a diy kind of setup and then there's even smaller ones as well that maybe you don't have a drill bit that's quite this size but you've got this to be able to do it with and i think that's pretty special now the um, other thing that i have let me look at my list here um oh another great gadget i love this so much about two of them because i feel like i'm gonna wear them down and i'm gonna use them a whole lot now speaking of your drill if you don't have a power drill, I recommend getting a power drill, you know, rechargeable drill, something like that for your craft room. But these little blades are saw blades. And see this little thing here? That goes into your grill or into your, not your grill, your drill. This goes into your drill. And then these saw blades just kind of attach to the end here. So you can turn your handheld drill into a saw. So if you need to craft, you're crafting something and you just need to trim something off, or maybe you've got something that's just a little bit too long, you're working with wood, you can't use just an X-Acto knife or a precision cutter or anything like that, you can use this for that. I think that this is really, really cool. And again, I got two of them because I knew that I'd be using them a lot. Now the next thing is a auger drill bit. Now, if you are thinking, what the heck do you need that for, Jamie? Um, it's long, first of all. This does attach to your drill as well. It's a drill theme right now. But what's really cool about this is um, it will help you put holes in the ground. So let's say you've got a Oh, I don't know. You're trying to put some signs in the yard. Some of those cute Dollar Tree signs, right? And if your ground is like the Georgia clay, it is very, very hard to drill into there. And if you're putting solar lights in sometimes, you're going to have a hard time sometimes getting those in. Like a lot of times I have to wait until it rains and the ground is really, really wet. And even then, because of the clay ground that we have here in Georgia, um, it can be tough. This will drill down. You put this on the end of your electric drill, right down into the ground, pull it back up. It makes a nice hole so you can put your stake in there for your Dollar Tree signs, for your solar lights, for anything like that. And this is something that I also recommend. And what's super, super, super cool about it is there's a little hole on the end of it here. So you can hang this up and put this in your workshop and get it out of the way when you're not needing it. And uh, Again, super excited about that one. Now the next item, this is definitely more of the decor side of the haul today. Um, we've got some giant eucalyptus stems and I did buy two of them. Now you can see they're coming folded up in here, but that's okay. Um, this is really, really big. And what's great about this too, 
other than how loud it is, um, you just shape these up. Not a big deal at all. Shape these up, play around with it, fluff it up a little, get it to where it's happy looking. And you've got such a very just simple, very cool kind of a eucalyptus. I was going to say an elliptus, but that's the machine at the gym that uh, elliptical, the <laughs> machine at the gym that I don't like. But look how long that is too. Obviously, you can cut this if you need to. But look just how fun and natural that looks. And I love that you can just kind of fluff around and play with this. This is very, very fun to just drop into a very like large vase. I've got some vases on my uh, mantle that are perfect for this if I were to cut this down. But I have a very big floor vase that I picked up from Gosh, I want to say, I don't remember even the retail store that it was. And uh, these are going to be perfect in there. And that is kind of what I bought them for because uh, people think that it's a trash can. And it's not a trash can. It's a decorative vase. And now we're going to have these eucalyptus stems in there. That way uh, people don't get confused anymore. Uh, for the next item that we've got, um, wood bead garland. This wood bead garland was less than $2. And uh, again, I've got it up here on the screen for you so you can see. But for decorative purposes, for a tiered tray, for a coffee table tray, for a stack of books, uh, they have these in a couple different colors too, by the way. But even if I only got it so I can cut it apart and use these wood beads for something else, look at the size of these wood beads. These wood beads are really good size. They've got the tassels on the end of it. They make it so easy. Like it would probably cost me $3 to be able to DIY this because you'd probably have to buy like two or three packages of the wood beads from Dollar Tree and then, you know, your twine and then how I, I don't make tassels that perfect. So super, super cute. And again, if I cut it up and just use the beads individually for something else, that's another thing that I can add to my craft stash. And I do think that it saves me a little bit of money. Now the, uh, let's see what's next. Ooh, the paper towel holder. This was something that I thought was super, super cool. And, um, I liked it. I just broke my pen. Or no, I didn't. Okay. I thought I broke my pen. I really should be using that little precision cutter that I had. Um, this is a paper towel rod, but this goes under your cabinet. So look at that. 3M peel and stick. Super, super easy. Um, let's get it out of this. Very modern looking. They did have this in a couple different uh, like metal types. I think that there's a silver, there's a chrome. Peel that off, stick this under your countertop, and then you put your paper towels on there. How cute is that? I think that this could also, depending on the bathroom, depending on the size, put this on the wall and put extra toilet paper on there. How cute could that be as well? Super fun, lots of great options. For me and for my style of my kitchen, this black is going to go perfectly, and I've got a perfect spot for it to just um, hold it up there. And I'm gonna let you know. I'll let you know how the 3M tape works. I probably will just go ahead and add some additional glue or like some uh, liquid nails or something like that. But this is 3M PE foam and uh, should hold up pretty good. So again, another thing that I am super, super excited about. Now, the other thing that I have is a plastic bag sealer. How many times have you opened up chips, gummy worms, uh, even uh, like, uh, what, what are those things called? Jelly beans, different things like that. And then you kind of, you know, crinkle up the bag and maybe you use a chip clip. Well, this is going to help you actually reseal those bags. This is a little handheld, little portable. I don't, I don't really know why it would be portable, but um, it takes a battery, it looks like. Yep, it takes just a, a battery there. And uh, all you have to do is take this squeezy, squeezy, go right across, this is a little heat element here and here, and it helps seal your bags. This one I was excited about, and I just noticed something that's very exciting. That's a magnet. That is a magnet. So you can put this on your refrigerator, leave it up there, and then anytime you need it, you can grab it, seal up your little bags, and everything will stay super, super fresh. How cute is that? And uh, we're gonna move on to some stuff for the yard, and then we've got some really cool travel stuff coming up as well. Now, reminder, if you're brand new to Timu, 
check out this code. This code is going to save you 30%. You definitely want to save 30%. However, if you are not brand new to Timu, it's okay because there are so many great deals right now that you're going to be blown away. The prices are crazy and I'm telling you, the site is addicting. All right, guys, so this next item, this is a um, individual. There's three of these here. And uh, these are lawn ornaments. These are so cute. They are little chickens. Um, I don't know if you can see that here on the packaging. However, I've got it up here on screen and there are three different options that you can get. They're listed down below as A, B, and C. And uh, I got all three of them because I feel like I need to have chickens, but I don't want to take care of chickens. So I can put some chickens, look at that right there. Can you see that? I can put some chickens in my yard and uh, have these as decor. These are made out of acrylic. There are some little assembly instructions that go with them, but how cute are these? These are going to be so much fun. I think I'm actually, instead of putting them in the backyard, I have an oak tree up front. I think I'm gonna put them kind of sprinkled in with some of the flowers that I plan to plant under that oak tree. So super, super cute, right? I love them. Now the next thing that I did get, um, in my backyard, I do have a little kind of a barrel pond. Um, it's a uh, plastic barrel. It uh, looks like a, you know, ish wood barrel. And uh, I want to have a little solar light or I wanted to have a light of some kind. This is a floating solar light. I've got it up here on screen so you can kind of see, but it changes colors. It does multiple things and it shoots out water out of the top of it. So it's going to look like that that pond that I have or that barrel pond that I have is um, not only illuminated with a fountain, people are gonna think it's like an electric pond and it's not, it is charged from the sun. And since I have a fantastic neighbor who has trimmed back some of the big oak tree that was back there, this is going to get a lot of light and this is going to look amazing in my yard. And check this out, there are different stream options for it. So as you can see there, you can have it to where it's shooting like out kind of like a little floral thing. You've got some straight up options. You've got some dribble options. There. Are are a lot of really cool options with this and uh, I'm pretty excited about this and uh, I think that this is going to elevate my backyard that little pond area it needs some help it's a little rough looking right now so we're kind of in the process of redoing that now this is something again that I'm very excited about um, I told you guys that I like watches I have several watches. I have some that are very inexpensive. I've bought watches here on Timu, and then I've got some that are, you know, a little nicer, kind of some pieces, some heirloom pieces, if you will. Look at this gorgeous watch box. This gorgeous watch box. It's kind of a faux leather here, and uh, how beautiful is this? This is a glass lid, by the way, and uh, each kind of section comes with this little piece that you just put your watches on and you can display all of your watches. You can put this away, hide this in a dresser, hide this in the top of your closet. You can easily look at it, it's kind of dusty from being in the box. But uh, again, you've got all these little wedges that you just put your watch on and uh, such a great, great deal. I was super happy with that, very excited about that. Now, I covered up my list here there's something making some noise oh this one so excited about this remember when i told you that i had an item that was broken and that timu took care of it because they made it so so easy all i had to do was take a picture of the item that was broken send it to them they gave me a credit right away now i chose to do a timu credit because i'm shopping at timu this is an olive oil sprayer. So you put your olive oil in here and then you just spray away. How cool is that? It looks amazing in the kitchen. It's going to look amazing in the kitchen. Clearly I haven't used it yet. And it's super, super easy to refill. All you have to do is take your little hose here, connect it to the little spout that's in there and you've got an oil sprayer, an olive oil sprayer, canola oil, sunflower oil, whatever kind of oil you use. I use a lot of olive oil, so I am going to love using this in my kitchen. Now, the next item that I have for you, um, 
these were fun. If you follow my friend Sarah Jane from Chic on the Cheap, then you probably saw these in one of her Timu hauls. I watch her videos, I saw these, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get those too. These are silicone molds, but they look like roses. How cute are these? I'm, I'm like 99% sure if it, it was her, but if it wasn't her, hey Sarah Jane, um, definitely go out and check her channel out too. But um, these silicone molds are super fun. Now, um, I, I'm almost positive it was her, but she took these and created ice molds to be able to put like in champagne and everything. And I think she did it around Valentine's Day. That's kind of what I want to do with it. I think that this would be really, really cute to get like a, a glass of champagne. Probably not a glass because these are kind of wide. Maybe, you know, a, a big boy glass of champagne. And uh, take your ice molds, fill them with cranberry juice, and then pop them out and float them in your champagne or in your cocktail. If you're doing a vodka cranberry, do it all vodka, little soda. Let this be the cranberry. So many fun things that you can do. Um, I don't know why you couldn't do a candle, honestly. If you wanted to, there are, um, it's like a little hole. It's not a hole, but there's the possibility of putting a hole in there the, where you could put a wick in there kind of reversed and then fill them up with wax. You may have a little drippage or whatever, but I don't think that that would be a big deal. And if you did these with wax, they would probably float too. So you could have some floating rose shaped candles, but this would also be really good for soaps too. If you wanted to make your own soap and then have some heart shaped soap like that uh, mermaid bowl that I gave my sister, maybe she could make some soaps out of this. She's gonna have to order her own from Timu because I'm keeping that one, but uh, super, super fun, right? So much fun. Now, um, if you guys know what cane is, like you see a lot of chairs that, like a lot of rocking chairs and a lot of chairs from, that are like a mid-century kind of vibe, they have this really cool caning on them. Well, Timu has some faux caning wallpaper. Now this is just peel and stick and it looks like those chairs. And I wanted to get this for DIY projects. Now I have a bar that I have had forever. Um, I found it on the side of the road, true story. It's a 1930s dry sink. And uh, it's at the point where I'm gonna go ahead and make some adjustments to it. And uh, I'm changing out the uh, cabinet doors on it because the doors are, are pretty well shot now. And uh, I'm gonna put just some regular like cabinet doors from Home Depot on there. But I thought that this could be really cool on the insert of the cabinet. You know how a lot of your cabinet doors have inserts? That, that could be really fun. And in my craft room here, actually, I'm looking, I have some armoires that I store a lot of things in, kind of besides these cube things back here. And uh, this could also be an option for that. It would really elevate it and make it look like that I've got some, you know, some fancy high-end furniture in here. And I can do it all with this because this is peel and stick wallpaper again. And uh, there are instructions in here as well. I'm trying to get the, how big this is. Um, it doesn't say how big it is on the packaging, but I'm sure it's up here in the uh, description that you see on screen. So check this out. And then the next thing that I picked up, this was something for me. Um, I grabbed a belt. I thought that this belt was really, really nice. Um, this has a very expensive kind of uh, designer look. It's so spent expensive and fancy that I can't figure out how to work it. But uh, this belt is, uh, oh wait, I did it backwards. Okay, it was really expensive and fancy then. Um, and now it's stuck. All right, here we go, here we go, hold on. Okay, that's what happens when you put a, a belt on backwards. It, it kind of does stuff like that. So, yep, now we've got it. Oh, imagine that. It works so much, so much better. I was like, why is it not going in the hole, you know, before? All right, this is what the belt looks like. Check out that. It's like a really cool kind of a snake head kind of a thing. Super, super cute. This looks like a very expensive, high-end kind of a designer brand. And uh, this is my size, which is always a plus. And uh, again, this is just kind of a fun thing. My, uh, my bird feeder just fell. But, um, Super, super cute. Love the way that this looks. It was available in black and brown, and if you have a hubby or a boyfriend or a son, significant other, 
whatever you want to label them, there is something fun for them. And that's such a great looking belt. Um, I don't think the belt is leather, but again, uh, super, super fun. Definitely going to be a statement maker. And, uh, you know, could just add a little fun to your outfit. And then uh, what else do we have? Oh, we have this. We're almost done, actually. I only have two more things. Can you believe it? There are some fun planters at Timu and um, I have a good friend. She's my best friend. She has some really cool succulents and she's inspired me to start playing around with some succulents, especially something on my front porch. Now my front porch is filled with flowers, but my table that kind of sits between my two chairs out there has the ability to be um, succulented. So I can add some succulents. Look at this vintage radio. It looks like a vintage radio. It's actually a planter. How cute is that? And yes, you see that there's a hole in the bottom of it for drainage as well. Y'all, I just saw something. You are going to die. Vintage looking radio, right? It's got an antenna. Oh my gosh. You can make this look like an actual radio. This is going to look like a radio. And it's got plants in it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm excited about that. I don't even think I realized when I ordered this that it had this feature to it. It looks like a freaking old radio. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. I'm, I'm probably just gonna put some Dollar Tree succulents in there for right now because it is so, so cute. And then the last thing I got, I ordered these in my first Timu haul, these air fryer liners. Total game changer. My air fryer has never been so clean and it is because of these right here. Now this is a larger package than what I got before and uh, they're so easy. All you do is put your food in there. Put your food in there, put it inside your air fryer. It helps absorb the oil, which is kind of the point of the air fryer. And it also makes cleanup so, so easy. These are something that I'm probably going to buy every single time and uh, they don't take up a lot of space either. You can put these in your cabinet very, very easily and uh, you can have all kinds of fun stuff with Timu. All right, guys, that is my Timu haul. Be sure again to check out that code in my description box. You can save 30% off of your very first order. And again, if you're a returning customer, there's so many great deals with Timu that you're gonna find stuff. Trust me, everybody that I've talked to that has shopped on Timu, they love everything that they're ordering and they're placing multiple orders. And uh, I'm gonna have at least two more Timu videos coming for you that uh, I'm very excited about. I've already placed the order for all those items and uh, they're going to be coming soon. So look for more Timu videos from me shortly. Also, if you are a subscriber of mine who has been around for a while or even a short while, thank you. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you're brand new to the channel, hopefully you will stick around and become a subscriber and uh, we'll bring you more DIYs, more shopping hauls, more Timu and more fun. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.